that led to a serious uh, disruption. I think I'm going to share that with you. All in this economy that they have increased their school fees. And at your final year, you know pay, you know the seat for the examination. So some of them just lost it. Everywhere just this scatter, scatter, kill you, they go no. Eh? Students of Michael Okpara University of Agriculture, Umudike, have staged a peaceful protest over the hike in school fees and the policy of no school fees payment, no examination. Speaking with Rapid TV, some of the students decried the harsh policy by the management, stating that the current economic hardship is affecting them in different ways following the introduction of biometric by the school management. The reason for this protest is a uh, high increment of school fees. Our school fees have increased three times since for a year now. And not, every, not all fingers are equal. Everybody cannot afford it. I have paid my school fees, but my colleagues cannot write the exam because they've not paid their school fees. It, this is this is not right. I cannot speak with my face open because because of how the school the school management is. I will be picked or expelled from the school because I will show my face. Well, now please, what you are, what, you are, what we are pleading is, let them decrease our school fees or let us pay instrumentally. Either we pay instrumentally or let let them decrease our school fees. Our 500 level uh, 500 level students cannot write the exam today because why? Some people don't have the money to pay the school fees. Imagine from uh, the, the one to five hundred level, we paid school fees for four years, and this is the last year of final year. What happens to clearance? So please, they are adding our VC. Let him decrease our school fees or allow us to make instrumental payment. How will I be a finalist? During, during my clearance, I'll pay everything, but yet yeah, they cancel my exam. After writing everything, they cancel my exam. Is that is that fair? After all my hard earned reading, then I, I wake up around two a.m. Red tea, five o'clock, went for the exam hall. I wrote on my exam. VC came inside the exam hall and cancelled everything. For what? Because I'm not paying my school and I'm a final. I'm in my final year. This is the first time. This is the first time this is happening. I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know why. This is the first time this is happening. Regarding the protest, which resulted in the destruction and damaging of the school facilities, like the Students' Union Government Complex, burning of the abandoned school vehicles, attacking of banks in the school premises, the Dean Students' Affairs, Professor Mark Ngosu, admitted that the protest was carried out by hoodlums and not the students who were about to sit for the examinations, stating that the students were expected to make their statutory payments before their examinations. The point is that their education is not free, isn't it? Because you had their facilities to be maintained. You want to write an exam with no materials, the exam materials that need to be pro pro provided. We, you know, you also, you know, exam environment, even where you're staying to read, you need, you know, the, there has to be power. I think all those things are really needed. And then to have all those things, you need money to procure them. We know the cost of fuel this time around. No, the cost of everything has gone up. So if maybe we, if the investor does not have money, I don't, we don't know what else to do. So the issue is that exam you know, education is not free all over the world. There's no way it is free. In most cases, before you go into the school, you must have paid all your charges before you go in. Not if, they won't even allow you to go into the school until you have paid. So that is the issue. But yeah, you come in and they will give you time to pay up and then take your exams. So that is the issue. Uh, we'll try to get them to know what, 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 uh, what was their anger. But they couldn't even listen to anybody. At least we wanted to address them, to tell them so that to calm the situation and then tell them what and what we've, we've been planning to do. But they didn't want to listen. So we took it that probably, you know, maybe a kind of sabotage somewhere, somehow. And then some hoodlongs eventually took over the whole thing. Because I'm not sure our students did this. People, people who have been looking for what are, maybe to, dis, to, to, to destroy the things in this university. In one way or the other. Those who don't like this university to exist. Who are fighting against the university. Maybe in one way or the other. They used some hoodlums. To come and this, I'm not sure our students did this. Visiting the school premises a few hours after the security agencies had controlled the situation, the mayor of Ikwana local government area, Usinachi Mwaka, seeked a roundtable discussion with the school management and the student union government, promising to get in touch with the vice chancellor. I've always known the student of uh, Michael Oba to be very law abiding and very capable. It's a surprise to me. That means that might be much more than we are hearing. But being the mayor of Ikwano, I just came to see for myself and to appeal for peace and calm. None of my territory, no quarter should be 
in violence. And I want to talk to the student world. Let there be peace. Let there be calm. I'm assuring that within the next 24, 48 hours, I'm going to meet the VC and make sure this is resolved. I also want to appeal to this Dean of Student Union that they should hold on the school exam for now and appease the student because if you say no school fees and no exam, <laughs> the economy is wonderful and everybody knows what is biting everybody. So we need to come to a compromise, a negotiation. It's not something that violence or force can solve. I want to appeal to all stakeholders involved within the next 48 hours. Let's remain calm until the root cause is given. And I also want to appeal to any other person attacking the school. Please, this is this is government properties. No matter the situation at hand, you shouldn't use violence. To be uh, George Joy is better than to be war war. And uh, things are very, very pretty expensive. But I'm assuring you people, once I leave here, I'll try and trace and get to the VC and also appeal to the management of the school to take it easy with the students. I'm also talking to all the students. I wish I can get the SUG president and the ESCO to tell them to calm down. Nobody will tolerate violence, but at the same time, we need to understand each other. Let there be peace. I'm calling for peace and calmness. The road leading to Aquibum State was blocked. Hmm. So, these are also the, you know, the effect of uh, what Nigeria economy has become. And as for students, they said by February 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the next 12 days, according to them, eh, they are going to open the portals for all of you who have not been able to pay your school fees. Student loan portals on the 21st of February in 12 days time. Make sure you keep all of your credentials intact too. Yes, go get everything ready. So that they will not say, is now they will say, okay, oh, oh yeah, go and use the portal. That's when you will need to go and get your ID card. And that's when you go and need to go and do all that. Mm -mm, go and get everything that says you are a student. And that there is uh, your entire household. Eh? You never see 500,000 in a year in your life like that. Shit, you get all. You are not earning 500,000 uh, naira in a year. Kia, kia, kia. In 12 days, though, before you miss it, and I probably won't want you to. I just give you an information. It's important, okay? As for those uh, students, mm, I think that should solve it. In 12 days' time, you should begin the process of getting your school fees. Okay? <laughs> Meanwhile, as for those who are still pretty much unhappy about uh, the hardship and all that, they said that if Nubu has told them to release grains, Kazaba Gariewa, eh? Agbado, and all that. So I don't know if this is one of them, or, but we saw them sharing yam in front of the central mosque in Lagos yesterday. Did you call, did you call it one? <laughs> Alpha do or risk look at that risk imagine you are trying to grab yam as they throw the yam eh and you are already targeting it and all of that somebody can't push you the yam hits your head bah 
Ah, you down. Another person take the arm. By the time you recover, I will say, are you all right, ma? Are you okay, sir? Your head is already like that. Where is the yam? There is no yam. And do you know something about that video you just watched? That is exactly Tif Nobu's ways of politics. The one that they have been using in Lagos <clears throat> for the past 24 years. Majority of those jobless agbiros that they deceived that if Nobu is, you know, the reason what they knew him as was that if you go to Tifnumbu's place, let's say uh, teachers association, you know they always have associations in Nigeria. Let's say teachers association of Lagos. We want to come and pay a costly visit because we have made you our patron, sir. So Tifnumbu will give them money. Little money that will look so big to them. How much did Ashiwaju give you? Ah, hey, 500,000. Maybe these days, nice. ah, 10 million. Ashiwaju gave us 10 million. So people like, like him are seen as Buje Budano. There's so much. Yes, he's stealing money. Yes. Do you know how many people he's giving money to every day? Eh? The other day, do you know how many truck, do you know how many trailer of rice? That are currently parked at the arcade parade ground in Alausa. That's the Fnumbu is going to give rise to every word of every local government. And everybody will call, you know, nobody say everybody go collect oh, now them demo, oh, the fine barras and all that. Oh, that is what they call Buche Butano. They will go and print forms and they will share the forms among the people and say there is a loan coming. From Ashiwaju. Ashiwaju want to give traders 100,000 100, naira to support their trade. <gasps> so people will begin to take the forms. Ah, eh? Ah, Ashiwaju. That's what they were expecting when, he, when they said that when he becomes president, he will have access to more money. And this time around, he will be able to give more money to a lot of them. All the poor people. Oh, eh? You ain't a good day. He would just say, oh, yeah, bad. That's what they were expecting. Things like that. Eh? Sharing rice, sharing gari, yam, eh? sharing glasses, one pound shop glasses, eh? reading glasses, all of that. When they give them to them, they say, ah, show me tonta. Oh, no, me tonta glassy. Only God know how much that they said this glass. Wait, Tiff Nobu gave me. Since he gave me this uh, glasses, jiggy bola. I have been able to read my Quran clearly. One pound shop reading glasses. So. Bola, Jiggy Bola. Thank God for Jiggy Bola. Only God know how much that they say Jiggy Bola, jig these glasses. Since he gave it to me, I have been able to read my Bible. I owe him my vote. That's how they have been ruling Lagos. So. That is why the, the shittiest, supposed uh, richest state in Nigeria, right, is also the shittiest compared to the resources available to them. No water, no drainage, no security, no electricity, no uh, infrastructure, almost no nothing. It is the ghetto. They call it mega city when they wanted to sound their posh. We call it mega shitty because a lot of us grew up there. We were born there. We know Lagos. We knew when Tifnumbu first started. And today, eh, a lot of people will tell you they are not just only disappointed in what he turned out to be. They are ashamed that he is not even ashamed of himself. Trust me, for those who know them, who know them very well, oh, no Yoruba will feel comfortable and be angry about to collect rice, to collect gari, to collect yam that could break their head. But when they force them, force them to poverty enough that you cannot ignore it, except if you just probably want to say, I would rather starve and die than to go there and be collecting their rice. There are people like that too. You they get? I'm talking about go there to collect. 
It seems this issue of food and all of that is serious. You see that one in uh, Niger State that the people are protesting that uh, they are unable to feed. These are expensive. These are too cost. Niger State, the video I showed you earlier, their governor, According to him, the way to stop the hardship, reduce it, and control the price is to make sure that any surviving agricultural produce from their states will not be sold to anybody anymore. It will only be meant for the people of the states. You see what I'm telling you? You have a drug addict, jackass, bunch of uh, uh, ineffectual buffoons, in charge of your destiny, taking decisions. Now, let me tell you this, in case if you don't understand, though, listen to him. This is Bago. Oh, Bago's voice is not going to come up. I'll give you another one some other time. What he was saying there is that, listen, though, he said, all the farms in the States, where you have uh, out-of-state traders, people from probably other part of Northern Nigeria or from Southern Nigeria, will bring in money to buy the farm produce, take all the risk of preservation if some of them are going to be spoiled before they get uh, sold. We have seen videos of some of the farm produce that got I mean, spoiled in transit. They were all gone before they got to their destination, right? That's part of the risk of going on there. But because you are taking the risk off the farmers, the farmers have no preservation, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, warehouses to keep uh, their Ex, the excess of uh, their farm produce, preserve them, save them from going bad. They don't. So once they start harvesting, eh, the buyers have to take them. But here we are. It is not that uh, in some places there are no food. There are food duo. <laughs> you actually need to understand this. It's not that there is no food in Nigeria. Eh? We are hungry, we are hungry that people are saying. It's not because the, what happened is that uh, except some who have to steal it, eh? even if you put the food inside their nose like this, their tongue cannot touch it because their wallet cannot afford it. Affordability problem is what Nigerians are going through. Hyperinflation that makes their money worthless. Imagine having to feed a family of six in Nigeria of today. Eh? That is what is going on. It's not because they don't have food. It's because they cannot afford to. So in the jack, knee jack uh, approach of the typical Nigerian politicians, he has now declared that all the food, you know what I mean? Which means, so if our people are hungry, but there is food, but some said he's going to probably subsidize it for them. Baba, except they are handing food, except they are opening food banks in Nigeria, things have gotten so bad that even if they reduce the 1,000 Naira bread to 500 Naira because government don't pay the balance to the bakers, eh? there are people that eh, can never be able to even afford that. That's the situation. Affordability. If you are looking for any kind of uh, Aussie job and all that, there are those who hire people. There will be more protests now. Genuine protest and government uh, sponsored uh, anti protest too. You know, when you say, Abi Power, they will give some people money and say, Abi Power, government is trying. You know, protester for hire. I'm just saying, like anything goes, oh, Baba, there are more Because the other day, it was a bully bear that made the video that Tifnumbu people won't use uh, upper court to, they won't cheat them off his own land. And he called on all of us, Nigerians, help me. Nigerians, eh? They said that they should fence my land and give the key to Sheyi, eh? The land I bought nine years ago. Eh? Nigerians, help me. Some of us were laughing. But I cannot lie to you. There are some Nigerians that responded. Leave our Abu Ebe land alone. Leave Abu Ebe land alone. In human right. Soli, 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 solidarity. Omo only believe It's real. And I kind of, you know, I kind of respect that. If all of them go say, okay, Abu Ebe is a piece, is one of them and all of that, he deserves it. Well, there are those who feel like uh, Abu Ebe still get right. Like these guys. We come here to come and fight. No. no. We come here to come and fight. 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 No. We come here to
Why don't you come and find no. me? No. He came here to come and beg. Please. Please, we don't want to mention name like this now. You understand? But please, anybody that is there, please make him just remove his hand. May they leave the land for Abu Ebed. So we are my child be with all of us. Amen. Why? I'm here because of this main subject matter. This is part of the land unlawfully hijacked by Lagos State government without any court order or without any just court. In this matter, we went to court and the chairman of the Lagos State Tax Force, ESP, Shola Gege Louis, he came here to submit this petition to avoid blood shelling at the Chiosa community. At all local elections. the other man? Yeah, yeah. So that's the yak. So what's the yak? Sulana Muhammad Aminu. The guy cannot take. Now so they protect them. Abu Ebe. Babati Nubu. Babati Nubu. Jeje lo ye. Sheyitu Nubu. Chief of Staff, the Allah Ayakuri, the Allah Ate. She shall get it. Eh? Why well, respect that too? At least they came out to submit a petition and say, ah, Obo, you cannot come and take the land, do. Eh? To avoid bloodshed in Ethiopia. Anybody, even you know, they brought all categories of uh, young people. They even brought uh, somebody where they speak house. <laughs> somebody said that uh, if Nigeria, if if Nigerians are serious, how come nobody, smart person, creates a Netflix series from Nigeria for live? Just get uh, like a uh, one thousand uh, cameras and scatter them all over the place. Produce everyday series, real life series for people to all over the world. There's so much there to share. Honestly, well, it's quite an, you know, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, capital intensive uh, adventure. Well, you're going to make a lot of money. So they brought one. That's, that one is the educated one. We are here in respect of the land that was... Uh, not judiciously taken without court order, without uh, that one day. Another one, we know we're caught. Do we come here to fight? No. Do we come here to fight? No. Then another one came. I will shout out of all the tax force in Lagos State. If you want to avoid bloodshed in Lagos, in Ethiopia, we want them to leave that land, you. They did not brought another one with his speak. I was, I didn't know, I don't know what he said, but I just heard him calling Baba Tenumbu, Baba something something. <laughs> Nigeria, eh? The theater of absurdity every day, and some even I'm gonna know. There's even another one where I almost forget to. They were discussing the minimum wage that the. Uh, NLC said they want to protest against last year, right? Guess what? Tifnumbu set up a minimum wage review committee. Can't give them one billion era. Owe Joko to discuss whether to pay you 30,000 or pay you 35,000. How many 35,000 you go see in one billion era? And those are the people you are waiting for who are discussing and planning on how to make life better for you. Ah, I go day here. I'll go make another tea. My time is up. I'll take another, I mean, I'll take calls now, okay? So if you really want to be part of this, like phone in, it would be ideal for you to one, like the broadcast, share it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Then bring out your phone, okay? The number to call is right there on your screen. Eh? And when I get back, I will be speaking to the first caller and other callers too. Don't go anywhere.
<laughs> Thank you. And then we heard that uh, Kolu will also be a definer of uh, AFCON, uh, Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire versus uh, Nigeria final. So I have a caller on the line and they have been there for almost forever. Are you still there? Right. I think I lost that caller. So I'll just uh, take another one. I'm so sorry that I picked your call. Normally, when I pick your call as first call, you can hang on and stay there, not leave. But unfortunately, they left. Hello there. Good evening, my Baba. Good evening, sir. This is Anthony. This is Anthony from Lagos. Hey, Anthony, Baba, how are you, how you doing now? Oh, God, the software has done, done too much. Tell me about it. How is Lagos? <laughs> Lagos is uh, we are we are in the shithole. Hmm. The the Lagos that they say that um, the 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 Jagaban made and all that Beautiful. that you are you are hearing the news. Hmm. You know now, bag of rice is 70, 74 thousand now. Don't so say that, please. Don't say that. They said it's uh, sixteen thousand era two days ago. Please don't say 70, that. Seventy four seventy four thousand. Eh, 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 how did that? The Rika, the Rika is one thousand two hundred. God damn it, so, man. Now, if you people are people are just lying down on the road. Like today, I saw women lying down on the road when you are going to Bariga as they, as they block toward Milan Bridge. And I was telling my friend, I saw some women lying down on the road. Ah, what is happening? People were just passing. But the main issue is not even the hunger. It's the fact that people were not even angry. Some people are still not angry with the situation. Hmm. Like in my area, when you are talking, somebody will be telling you, just be patient, be in few months time, you'll be, you praise the government. And I, me, I don't argue with such people. I don't argue with them. Hmm. Just say, okay, six months no time, light. no wahala. We'll see in six months time. No, in Lagos, there's no light. You cannot buy fuel. You, there's no, you, you, how, how many fuel, how many, how many fuel will you buy before you now start driving? How many fuel will you buy into, in, 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 you, will, will you buy and put in your generator before? There's no, nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. And for that man that said they want to protest naked, is it now that they are tired? Is it now that they are tired? They want to protest naked. Hmm. They are all part of the issue. They, they all the, the lecturers, everybody is part of the issue. Look at what happened in 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 in, 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 in that industry. You want to you, you look at what the what look the, the man was saying the man was saying that where you, you want to read they, 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 want, they want to power the light that you know how much the fuel has got so the fuel price now should be transferred to the to the students exactly who have just the for has five years the education subsidy now that's why everybody is a mess right now there's no money they, anymore. They use them to they, mm. they they use the professors to reach the election. So they have tried to they are tried to to, to back up the government on the on the students. What about the? I want the, the, I, I, if if they can burn down the whole schools in Nigeria so that we know we don't have any school anymore. Hmm. The one that they are the one that they are doing in the north they have they are, they, are, they have not even started anything. The hunger have not even started anything. Now the the main food crisis that happen in Nigeria is not even because Nigeria is producing anything. Hmm. The thing you are hearing, like, not, not, is, not is the one producing food. The food is coming from Niger and Chad. But since they have blocked that, since they have closed that border because of the military takeover and all that, there is no onion in Nigeria anymore. There is no, 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 no beans, no, no, no tomato. Nothing is, in, is coming from, coming to Nigeria. That is why there is so much crisis in Nigeria in food, in food, in food uh, inflation right now. Hmm. Hmm. No onions, nothing, nothing is coming from Niger and Chad right now. So all the noise you are hearing, uh, food so no basket wonder, of the nation. No wonder they are saying it should, I am open, border. Border. It should open border. So I, <laughs> I, I am from Benue State. Anyway. I am from Benue State. Hmm. Yes, all the thing, all the noise you are hearing, not is producing food. They are producing nothing. They are not producing anything. Now the everybody we are we are beginning to see the secret and everything now. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Anthony, so let me allow. Thank you so much. Sir, uh, let me allow other people to talk. Um, well, I will continue to also pray for you, all of you, because I know that, uh, amen, no. you know, majority didn't ask for this. Majority did not. But the only thing that is painful, like you said, is that uh, the majority that did not sign up for this, they are too scared to face the minority that forced this on them. But we'll get there. Mm. Anthony. 
Eh? We will get yes, so. Thank yeah, you so we'll much there, we'll for get. your time. That is uh, Anthony there from Lagos. Yeah. So, again, the line is opened. And then uh, if, uh, you know, I mean, like, if you have uh, been trying to get through and it's pretty much like being dodgy, do not worry. Just keep trying. Okay? So, when you lie to yourself to some extent and you begin to believe the lie, you know the only thing that will remind you that you are living a lie is when the consequences of that lie begin to catch up with you. That is the moment you have to stop lying to yourself. I mean, it's, it's, it's practical, isn't it? You are lying to yourself to avoid the truth. Then the consequences that you have, I mean, the consequences of your lies, which is the avoidance of uh, responsibility, of your responsibility per se, right? So the consequences is biting. You are avoiding that lying to yourself, blaming other people and all that. But you know, when the consequences finally catches up with you, it is the moment of truth. The moment you have to stop lying to yourself, face it. You cannot keep, I mean, you cannot be doing the same thing again and again and then expect a different result. We will get there. I'll take this. Hello. Hello, my good general. Hello, Hello sir. Sir. How you, sir. How are you? I'm all right. Good evening. You cannot be doing the same thing. Good evening to you, too. You might need to mute the broadcast again or yeah, walk yeah, away yeah. from the room. No, 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 I've just put it off completely. Oh, brilliant, sir. Please. The, um, I missed your parliament yesterday. I know. Uh, it is because of the running around and the weather yesterday was too bad. That was why it I missed still it. It's bad tonight. Yeah. It's still pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, love, I love what you have been doing. Thank and you. Um, uh, that particular temple must be fired on. That's right. Uh, we, we must be putting anything that will make sure that that temple is fired on 24 so, hours but the truth there. remains it remains that um, um nigeria is a terrible place honestly terrible in the sense that mm. i doubt who is a nigerian mm. like myself who is calling you here is not a nigerian i was but as it stands um because i learned when i was growing up they say that uh, the youths are the leaders of tomorrow now i am an adult uh, my children are hearing the same story i had so i don't know when tinubu so you are one of you are one of uh, the nigerians that uh, are you know are factually known to have psychologically succeeded i mean succeeded from nigeria like i don't belong no to no no psychologically succeeded i am a disciple of mazin nam de kano uh a biafran which is pretty Definitely. much in the same picture to say i don't want to have anything to do with that place anymore like yeah de definitely we are in exile we are in self-exile and um, from all indication, it is not going to get better. No. There is no, no way that is going to get better. No. I, I see a lot of Nigerians piling hope hmm. on hopelessness. It's not going to get better. I was in Nigeria hmm. precisely in a, a Egbeda area of Nigeria in 2000. Mm. When the same Bola Tinubu was the governor of Lagos State, he was the one that was championing the state police, restructuring, mm. Mm. named them. But the truth remains that the Fulanis are very, very wise people. Mm. When you are talking of restructuring Nigeria, the Fulanis have restructured Nigeria the way they want. God bless you. And a but lot don't every, even know. A lot of people don't even know. You see, you see, every mm. other person will be there shouting restructuring. They themselves, who owns the Nigeria, have restructured it. Mm. You know, my my prophet Nam Dekanu has told me that 
you see, they were shouting the houses and houses. But underneath, the Fulanis are the people on the driver's seat. Mm. But when they finally came out, they don't talk of houses again. They are talking about Fulanis. Mm. Um, I, I think I will make it short because we have talked about this Nigerian thing for quite a long time. Lots. But for those who still believe in Nigeria, let them continue hoping on a hopeless situation. Mm which will not change today it will not change tomorrow and forever it we will continue to com complain thank you so the only much, thing Martin. i will advise my beer friends is that nobody mm -hmm. should join them in this their protest we have protested enough we have mm -hmm. we've been protesting since 2012 when namdi khan came out and started shouting about what is happening now mm -hmm. and a lot of us has made the ultimate has paid the ultimate price hmm. and we cannot continue again to pay you see there is something i want to remind you my ego please i was almost skinned alive by my kindred during the election time when i told them that obi is going to sow us again for his selfish ambition hmm. because we have seen these things times without number that was what happened during the independence era, Zeke was there clicking Nigeria, holding Nigeria with 10 hands, not even two hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's our Nigeria. We are going to make it uh, a Dorado. We Everything will be. Every, you know, you see, uh, at the end of the of day. Africa. I remember. I read that. Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, it was the beer France that they paid the ultimate price. Hmm. Then our brother Agi Hiroshi came hmm. and thought of unitary. Everybody should come together. We are going to build Nigeria. And he paid the ultimate price. He did. Remember our brother Alex Ekweme. To Babangida, I remember. Alex Ekweme was the one, if you remember the G30, I think no, the G34. Sorry, that's sorry. Uh, Babangida, sorry, I mixed them up. Yeah, the G34, yeah. Alex Ekweme, the so-called six geopolitical zone, the so-called South-South, it mm -hmm. was the, even the, the, the democracy that the, uh, a lot of people are talking of. It was a Kweme that was engineered it. He drafted but when, it. He when, created when, when, the six geopolitical zone. Baba, yeah. your memory is indeed. I love this. Continue, Mazi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a Kweme. Mm. But what happened was that in 1979, after nine years, after the Civil War, Buhari Boko Hari saw again that an evil man is almost at the point of becoming the president of Nigeria, he organized a queue. Hmm. When the issue of PDP, the new, the, the one they are enjoying now came up, it was the same equipment. It was in Jos when they were organizing their uh, national conference or something like that. That was the they moment went they and switched to your It was Obasan supposed to be in yeah. They went and brought Obasanjo mm -hmm. out from prison. Mm -hmm. Obasanjo said that he don't want to do anything. They were pleading to Obasanjo to come and take over. But everybody knew the role of Kweme played to make sure that the army left the Nigerian government. But mm -hmm. they did everything to make sure that Kweme did not come near All to right. that particular seat. No. Then came Obi. Mm -hmm. And we were shouting that Obi is selling us again for peanut. Obi should go and please leave Nigeria for those who owns Nigeria. We are not part of Nigeria. They have said it. Buhari collected a lot of loans from wherever he came. And none of the projects that were marked for those loans were allocated to Biafra land. Nothing Why either. is Obi trying to sell us again? my kindred wanted to skin me alive mm. and thank god that our directorate of states we are very wise to allow the dear france to participate in that particular election mm. and at the end of the day i think they will be biting their nails now they are they will biting their fingernails now
So what I am trying to say in effect is this, those of them from the Southeast, mm. most especially the Biafrans, should leave them alone. I know that we have not been begging and we will not beg. If we can survive three years of blockade, mm. if we can survive it, this is a child's play. We will survive it. Let Nigeria get what they get for hmm. and let them suffer it. I because see. when you tell them hmm. that there is fire on the mountain, there is no Nigeria, nobody claims to be a Nigeria. Mayegu, you are a Yoruba man. That's right. I am an Igbo man. That That's is right. the truth about it. Mm -hmm. Mayegu, you are living in United Kingdom. That's right. You know, United Kingdom, the countries that made up United Kingdom. Four of them. In the World Cup of today, Wales will be playing as Welsh people. That's right. England will be playing as English people. That's right. Scotland will be playing as Scottish people. That's right. Northern Ireland, the same thing. That's right. Why can't Not we borrow the from no, what is no, happening no in this country? Team called, uh, uk it will be england so what i'm trying to say is this um it is really unfortunate that uh, people are have not waking up hmm. they said the so-called uh, the uh, vice president what do you call what do you call him she too what what is his He's name shitty man didn't you hear what he discussed with kunle about the ebos in I lagos it is so fresh in our mind it and does. people cannot put one and one together to get a number so See, i can listen what? to you all night as usual right but just that uh we will have to hear from others too you have you unloaded a lot I tonight i don't to know if you actually it. planned it this yeah, yeah, yeah. was loaded i'm pleading, yeah? I'm pleading to my dear friends mm -hmm. to keep calm we have done our own protest for god knows how long Hmm. This is the time for those who thought that Nigeria is their country, that they have a country called Nigeria to do hmm. the protest. To do theirs. Why we will listen to them. So, like I said earlier, on, keep you. the fire burning. I will. We love what you are doing, Thanks and uh, we are praying that Almighty God will continue to. Amen to so that. I appreciate this so much. Thank you very much uh, for it's this. My pleasure. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. You should okay. have a good one, okay? Have a wonderful weekend as well. So, uh, man. I am sorry if I continue to make it, uh, uh, you know, like I'm not sticking to my plan, Hello. but sometimes I just have to let people let everything out this way, you know. So, hello there. Oh, uh, hello, my uncle. Hello. 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 Yeah, love of God is my strength. Oh, now, can we, hmm. let me say something, uh, number so, one. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy that Tulumbu is going to go to Ivory Coast. Hmm. It's of no use. Because yeah, Tulumbu kind of is a bad luck man. It is currently raising the, the hyper reaction of people, believing that uh, oh, my go go jinx Sam and all of that. But yeah. I bet may not go there. The man a bad luck now fooling, buddy. <laughs> we don't want him there. Make him stay where he did, there with himself. We don't want him to go there. The other remember the other time that uh, Buari went to visit our players in Africa. Then we lost the game. We don't want them there. Right. They are bad luck. But Please, they should, it's, it's, if you it's say it's Nigeria that cannot be changed anymore, it's gonna be there. Ma. Oh, oh no, that thing really when I had it, I was really upset. <laughs> Maybe you have to pray hard. No. Tonight. Now let me say talk about uh King Solid by Biton Power Niger. Every chat you tell anyone, you see, when when the head is already cut off, there's not 